Alex Wilkerson leads out the home team, the Japanese international Kengo Nakamura, as always, with the armband for Kawasaki Frontal. On the bench, as always, for the Mariners, the Scotsman Laurie McKinnon, his fifth year at the club. Very much part of the furniture here on the Central Coast. Alongside him, the former Socceroo Alex Tobin. Takashi Sekizuka is the coach for Kawasaki Frontal. It's his sixth season at the club. He is the second longest serving J League coach behind Akira Nishino. So the Mariners get proceedings underway. A lot of talk about this being a pivotal game, particularly for the home team. They did very well against Tianjin Teda in China. Ball in. It's well done, and Tese, Jong Tese, the North Korean who can't stop scoring at the moment, has given Kawasaki an early advantage. Once the danger. Vito Jr. with the corner, and it's gone in. I'm not sure who got the final touch, it hardly matters. Kawasaki have doubled their advantage. Perhaps Murakami is claiming it. Tanaguchi as well. well. I think it's Murakami's, but whatever it is, it's like a replay of the two goals they concede in China. I was just talking about how Laurie McKinna, uh, they'd worked on set pieces. They say, looking for the foul. No whistle from the Uzbek referee. Nakamura drifting into the center of the field. Here's Mori, willing as always on that right-hand side. Squares it up, Janinho deflected, goal! Kawasaki, three, the Mariners, nil. It's a lesson, it's a football lesson. Supporters are stunned into silence. They cannot believe what they are seeing. They need some form of inspiration. Merger! Nicky Merger, one-on-one, -on -one. he's picked out Kawashima, the goalkeeper. And then like you're making excuses for them, but they certainly haven't looked at the races here. They've looked a yard slower, haven't they? Than Kawasaki, but I don't think that's maybe all of it. I just think Kawasaki maybe just too good. I have been at the moment. And look at the space here for Nakamura, who finishes with a bomb. Too easy for Kawasaki. Wonderful movement. Clinical finish. It goes from bad to worse for Central Coast. Well, no wonder they're smiling. Well, bad to worse. It's just, well, it's poor defending. It's great movement. It's a great finish. Vukovic foot off the pedal a little bit. Although someone's forgotten to tell Vito Jr. to do that. What a performance from him. Little Brazilian. They've turned it over cheaply. Bugard, the culprit. Renatinho makes it five. Kawasaki in seventh heaven. And Central Coast have been ripped to shreds again. Well, slides it to Renatinho. Look at that. That's just tiredness, isn't it? From Bogard. Should be getting to that. Maybe not the best of balls, but look at that. On a plate. Side foot past Vukovic. See you later, 5 0. Well, as it stands, this is the worst defeat in Central Coast. Elrich. Now, Gumprecht. Again, it's the early delivery. It'll break for Heffernan. Caught in two minds. McAllister off the line by Tanada. It just will not go in for Central Coast. That's not an, an entire excuse. Can they get a consolation? The solace of a goal, Central Coast, not by the look of that determination from Kawasaki Frontal. It has been a masterclass from Kawasaki. The Central Coast Mariners tumble to their worst ever defeat. It's come in match day three of the AFC Champions League, the worst possible moment for them. Kawasaki home and hose quite early in this game. And from that point on, it was about damage limitation for the Central Coast, but even that was beyond them. Full time here at Gosford, Central Coast nil, Kawasaki five.